Our next guest is uh, almost undoubtedly the most prolific uh, arbiter of elegance in the world of our times. Uh, the most popular of her several books and videotapes is this one. Am I holding it up yet? No. This one right here. It's called Weddings. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Martha Stewart. Hi. Nice to see you. How are you? Fine. Welcome to the show. Martha, Martha, uh, you know, we see, we see a lot of you uh, on television these days with these uh, Kmart commercials. You have an affiliation with Kmart. I do. Now, I think a lot of people would think that that's an odd kind of combination. It, do you, does it strike you as being odd? Not at all. Really? I'm enjoying it tremendously. And what's the purpose of it? Well, the purpose is that everybody who shops at Kmart, and there's about 77 million people a month shopping there. Is that right? 77 million a month? Yes, and uh, they want beautiful things. And I'm trying to get really gorgeous things into the store. Well, what are they doing in Kmart? If they're... <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I... What's what? You mean I the, have the nothing against Kmart. The beautiful things? But if, if that's... If, are, if they, in fact, are looking for beautiful things, then let's face it, who isn't? You know, that's what would, I say. But now you're... So it will be the place to go for beautiful things. It certainly is the place. Okay. Really? <laughs> Have you ever been in a Kmart? Have you seen my sheets? <laughs> you, have, you have a line of sheets in the, in yeah, the Kmart? Yeah, my yeah. first products were sheets, yeah. and um, they're just selling like hotcakes. Um, well, you know, how about, how about a line of hotcakes? Well, we're, 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 working, we're working on that, too. But, and, uh, and let me ask you one more question, and then we'll go on to other things here. Do you, d d 10 years ago, uh, when you were at your home in Connecticut, did you ever think that you would have an affiliation with Kmart? Uh, no, I didn't think about it. Yeah, but it's working out just fine. Fantastic. Right. Now, t tell me about the Have book. Have you ever been in a Kmart? Oh, sure. Good. <laughs> <laughs> you know, when I'm at home on a weekend and I say to myself, beautiful things, and then... <laughs> <laughs> the next thing you know... The next thing you know, I I'm in Kmart looking at a hoe or which, something. Which Kmart do you go to? Well, the one just down the road. Great. <laughs> yeah, but anyway, now this, this is weddings. Now, tell people what you've done here. Uh, and what you do, and if uh, could you do a wedding for me? I absolutely could. Now, how, what would that entail? Well, um, you would consult with me because I'm not catering anymore. I used to cater. I catered lots of those weddings in that book, but I catering would... means just the food or the food and the flowers. Well, or... it used to be just the food, but now it's uh, the food, the flowers, the music. And but I'm doing the consulting now, uh -huh. and I could tell you everything you'd want to know about how to do your own wedding. Right, but what do you need to know? Are you planning know? a wedding? Well, I've had I had one. You know, my first wedding, and I've never mentioned this. My first marriage, I just eloped. Me and the girl just we took off, and uh, were you got... sorry? No, I had a, no. I, she was a nice girl. What? Hey, what do you mean by that? <laughs> no, but were you sorry you the didn't hell you have? How you getting out here, Martha? I meant, were you sorry that you didn't have a really big, beautiful, elaborate no, wedding? No, no, because with I all think the that, no, no, that would make me really self-conscious. I think it's just like here I am. I'm a bonehead. Come on in, watch me get married. <laughs> You well, know, and then people, they, they feel obliged to put on nice clothes and show up with gifts and stuff, and, and a lot of that stuff's coming that's... from Kmart. I don't want that. <laughs> I'm sorry. I, I'm sorry. I, I know I'm not being fair. I don't know what's going on. Well, why not? Me. You can get anything at Kmart. <laughs> <laughs> um, so what else do you do besides consult weddings? Well, I write books, lots yeah. of books, do yeah, videos. Yeah, we, we, have, we have a sample of the kind of stuff you have here. That's, that's a lot of, lot of work has gone into that. Yep, right? yeah. and um, those, are, those are new CBS Masterworks. Mm, these are on the CDs now. Yep, yeah. CDs and tapes. And this one is the Sunday Brunch album. Giving, what, giving you the music that you would like this to is brunch hear music? at a brunch. Yeah, what do we got here? Baroque music. ZZ Top, that's good. <laughs> A little pole shape or somewhere uh, there. <laughs> but then, uh, uh, how can I make my life more enjoyable if I would, you know? Well, do you like to give parties? No. <laughs> I had some questions I wanted to ask you. All right, you ask me some, about ask me some questions. I mean, these are problems that people are always writing to me or asking me. Okay, ask me some um, questions. For example, um, what if your guest of honor dies the night before a party? If your guest of honor has passed away. The, the night before, and you've planned this elaborate party with uh, a great big tent and a band, and uh, everybody's come from all over the world to your party yeah. for this person. What would you do? Well, uh, I'd make sure he had excellent ventilation. Because... <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
You know, this is one of those nights I'm, uh, I feel badly for you. I'm sorry. Why? Have, I, have I just been nuts here? No, it's been fantastic. I love Richard Lewis and I love um, Donna Summer. And How about having uh, the Henry time. Stern won't be here, you know? Well, I'm sorry, but you were sort of mean because he was sitting there listening and we were just wondering who was going to be cut. And, let, me, uh, let me do something. Attention, customers. Attention. <laughs> Friday. I want you to make love to me. Passion becomes obsession <laughs> when Dynasty's John James and Susan Lucci are haunted by her past. Friday. Thinking of dropping out of school? What for? A career in minimum wage? Your school is tough, but 30 or 40 years of lousy jobs is tougher. Get an education, you've got a shot at being anything you want. Drop out, you've got a shot at regretting it for the rest of your life. Don't be a fool. Stay in school. The more you know about what's really good for you, the more you know you belong in school. So stay there. Okay, listen, I'm, I'm sorry you had to be here for this. You know what I mean? I'm happy to be Come here. Back, I'm excited. And I'll, I'll try and be nicer the next time. Great. All right. We, we have to go. Goodbye.